we're back. And if you're anything like me, you're going to find our next guest to be of particular interest. We're joined now by Dr. Gary Small, UCLA professor of psychiatry, director at the UCLA Longevity Center, and co-author of the book entitled Two Weeks to a Younger Brain. Dr. Small, are you the man for me? I'm hoping I can help you. <clears throat> are you the man for me? Boy, I could use this help. Let's begin by, by laying out for us the premise of the book. We know there's a lot of new science on the brain, and it turns out a lot of people don't realize how much control they have over their brain health and their memory. Now, the first question people ask, can you really get my brain younger in two weeks? And my short answer is yes. Honestly? We've got the scientific evidence to show that. I mean, we've done studies looking at pencil and paper tests on memory, but also peering into the brain with brain scans. And we find after simple exercises, after a couple of weeks, we can literally rewire your brain and get it healthier, smarter, and stronger. So most people think that the trick to, to extending your, your cognitive abilities playing games, uh, you know, picking up a Nintendo, whatever, things that will test your brains, doing word puzzles. Is that the secret or are there other ways you need to go about this? That's part of it. We can use the games and the puzzles to exercise our brains, build brain muscle, but there's more than that. We need to get physical. Physical exercise is one of the best things you can do for your brain Why health. is that? Why does physical exercise impact my brain? When you get your heart to pump oxygen and nutrients to your brain cells, your brain actually gets bitter, bigger. It functions better. And in fact, your body produces chemicals that improve your mood. You've heard of endorphin yeah, high, sure. as well as other chemicals that get your brain cells to communicate more effectively. All right, so how much exercise do you recommend? I recommend at least 15 minutes of brisk walking a day, but strength training is very important. And there are studies showing that if you continue this, you actually get your brain bigger. And a bigger brain is a better brain. Even no matter what age you're at, that can happen. No matter really. what age. It's remarkable. The studies show that it, you can take a 20-year-old, you can take a 70-year-old, and you can build brain muscle, whether it's physical exercise or even the brain games. If you use certain computer games, if you learn the memory techniques we teach in the book, you can actually get get your brain wires to function better. Okay, so you've got the physical aspect. I don't think it'll come as a great surprise to anybody that th that would be one of the benefits of exercise. You've got the games you can play that kind of keep your brain moving. Food an issue here? Food is very important. One of the biggest problems we face today is an epidemic of overweight and obesity. It turns out that if you're overweight, it doubles your risk for Alzheimer's. If you're obese, it quadruples your risk. Now that's the bad news. The good news is we find that if we put people who are obese on a strict diet and they lose weight, their memory improves in a few months. So your brain is very re resilient if you take care of it. Also, you've got to think about the kinds of foods you eat. Most people don't eat enough omega-3 fats, which protect the brain. So fish, nuts, flaxseed are brain protective. Also fruits and vegetables and avoiding the processed foods and the refined sugars. So, so listening to you, I, I kind of feel like I've heard everything you're saying, but pertaining to heart health yes, or, or other health. It basically sounds like do what you would do to improve the other aspects of your, of your, your body, your, your heart, your whatever, uh, and it's going to improve your brain. Now, how do you do that in two weeks? Well, you know, what we do is lay out the program very simply. We show people the exercises to do. We also convince them of the connection between their behavior and their brain health. And if you understand that, you're more likely to follow through. But there's one other aspect. I mean, it's true that what's good for your heart is good for your brain. But another thing we show is how you can improve your memory right away. And we teach simple techniques like focus and frame. Right. So focus is a reminder to concentrate and pay attention. The biggest reason we forget is we're just not paying attention to the, big, the, to the thing in the first place. And frame is a way of framing the information so it has meaning, creating visual images and linking them together so they're easier to recall later. So let me ask you this. Now, obviously, we know that uh, for those who are so unfortunate as to find themselves with Alzheimer's, dementia, this may not, this is not part of that necessarily true. but. How much does the average person lose in concentration ability, just out of normal wear and tear on the brain? It's a very gradual process, maybe a percent or so each year, but relatively stable memory for most people, even into old age. What we find is by age 45, the average person notices some change. Right. So that's 
our low-hanging fruit. That's where we can really help people. At that stage. That's right. And you know, people are complaining about names and faces. And, and, and quickly, because I know we're running out of time, but I wanted to ask sure. you, um, these new amyloid drugs I'm hearing can have an impact on Alzheimer's. Yes, no, don't Still know. Still being tested. Still being Not tested. ready for prime time. Doctor, it sounds interesting. Highly recommend to people that they get out there and uh, check this book out. Dr. Gary Small from UCLA, one of my favorite places. Uh, we really appreciate having you here, man. Thank you. So listen, when we come back, we're going to uh, get into one of Steve Malzberg Give Me Five. Steve's not here today, as you know, but the Give Me Fives live on. Make sure you join us. We're coming right back.